in this video I'm going to talk about what is condensation. When do you get condensation? And in the end of this video I will also tell you the secret how to avoid condensation, if it's possible to avoid condensation. So follow me in the video and then we'll see where we end up. My name is Matti, I live in just above the Arctic Circle in northern Sweden. Together with my partner Stina, I run a small guide business and we have 50 sled dogs and we're doing dog sled tours, hiking tours, canoe tours and so on. Outdoor life is actually what we're doing for a living. But today I'm going to bring you out and we're talking about condensation. I took the chance to pack a tent, sleeping bag, isomat and some food. And now I'm on my way to the closest hill to our home. Very easy access, it's called Jetberget. And you have seen videos from this place before or if you follow us on Instagram, you've seen pictures from this area before. It's less than one hour hike from our home, so it's perfect after work thing. Or actually, this is work also. So, when we talk about condensation, all of us have a kind of relation to condensation. If you're camping, you got the condensation inside the tent sometimes. And if you're hiking, you have waterproof clothes, you get the condensation inside your jacket, inside the pants. The most common way for normal people to see condensation is when you take a cold glass of beer and take it out in the warm air and then you get condensation like this moisture you get outside the glass and that make the beer look so good. Okay, I think we need a little bit better explanation here. If you have air like this, this air is cold. I'm writing here, cold. Cold air can carry some water, but not much. If you have the same amount of air, but if the air is warm, beautiful, it can carry more water. Do you understand the difference? And all over in this air, this air contains small water particular. Do you get that? Then we continue. Playing around with colors. If the temperature on this warm air with a lot of water inside, dropping and going to colder, then you get air that carry less water and you had water drops. And this water drops, that is the condensation. Condense. I don't know if I'm writing correctly. So let's take it from the beginning. Cold air carries some more water. Warm air could carry more water. When warm air with a lot of water inside cools off, then you get colder air with less water inside plus condensation. This condensation goes to cold surface like a cold tent wall or a cold beer for example. It could also stop somewhere in the middle of the isolation of a jacket, in a down jacket, a down sleeping bag. It reaches a certain level and when it reaches the condensation point then the air drops the water as condensation. Because this air can't carry too much water. You don't need to understand how it works. You just had to accept that it is like that. Or down there you see Vaikia or a lake. And uh, here we're coming closer and closer to the hill. 
it is almost midnight sun here. I'm living just north of Arctic Circle and then we got this midnight sun and this is what happened right now. The sun is almost not going under the horizon. And when you go up on a small hill like this, you get the midnight sun a little bit earlier than down in the valley. Jacket on. Nice. I had to say that this kind of dome tent, when you put the flyer on top of the tent, they are quite silent actually. Now I just hope it's not blowing away. It's also important when you're working with these air mats like um, Xpeed, Thermores and all these kind of air mats as we're using. Sometimes they have downing and sometimes they are synthetic isolation and sometimes it's just air. This one is a lightweight and only have air. Anyway, if you're blowing in warm air from your lungs like that, that air contains more water than the air in the surrounding and if you blow in air into the isomat you will get condensation in the isomat and that is why you should use this pump bag and not blowing into them the ventilation on this tent between the flyer and the ground there is 5-10 centimeters all around so I can really feel that the air is moving here but it's much more protected than outside and the whole inner tent is made of mesh so I really get the good ventilation in this tent the first night I used this tent I had kind of heavy rain and it was also very damp on the ground so when I put up the tent all this moisture in the ground suddenly came up to the air because it was much warmer in the tent and at the same time I get cold rain on top of the flyer and it cooled off the flyer and what happened then is that this damp air warm damp air go to the flyer cools off and leave condensation on the flyer on the inside of the flyer and the dinner today will be very simple. Bread, chorizo sausage, potato salad that's already ready. I get some tomatoes. Liking this small, simple stove, it's called BRS. You've seen it on YouTube, everywhere people have it. It's not super expensive and uh, it's super lightweight. I put the link in the description. 20 euro or something. Potato salad on the bread, then one sausage. So not forget the tomatoes. Menu. Let's eat. Mm. It is actually not warm in here right now and the temperature is dropping so it's time for long jumps. It's actually pushing on quite hard the wind now and then. Let's look a little bit outside how it looks. Oh it's so beautiful look.
15, 15 to 20 meters per second now. Quite heavy wind out there. In the push. And then between, it's a little bit less. What I had to do now is to going out and check so all the pegs are okay before I go to sleep. Yeah, you see. back in again and the wind comes and goes as it usually do quite normal I really enjoy to make my tea in one of these Nalgene bottles because now I can keep it however and it will not going out and I can also keep it inside my sleeping bag and that's warm and cozy and of course I should drink it Twinks Earl Grey tea today now I'm going to listen on the podcast and uh, closing my sleeping bag a little bit see you tomorrow ciao It's a new day. Shit, it has been windy tonight and it's still windy. But the, st the tent is still here. It's actually quite amazing. Several times during the night I wake up and think that shit, now something will fly away. But Still here. I don't know how it is for a dog when it's windy like this because they can't hear so well what's happening around. So I don't know if they get tired from it or yeah, I don't know. Or maybe they sleep better because now they can't guard everything. I don't know. But, I need some coffee now. So when we're talking about condensation, I promise you, the fabric is totally dry now, because we had so good ventilation last night. Really good ventilation. Good ventilation, no condensation. That's also one important thing when you're sleeping in the sleeping bag. You should not close the sleeping bag over your mouth. Your air from your mouth and nose had to go straight out because that air contains a lot of humidity, a lot of water. When you cook like this inside the tent, you must be really careful so the stove is stable and not falling because things can start burn very quickly. So be really careful, not running around when you're doing it. So this night with all this wind, I have a lot of air coming through. A lot of air that take my moisture, humid air, transport it out of the tent and pushing in new fresh air into the tent, cold air.
So it haven't been warm in the tent. And my idea is that it shouldn't be warm in the tent if you not have a tent with a stove. That's a total different story. But a tent like this shouldn't be really warm. A tent like this should have the same temperature inside the surface of the fabric as outside of the surface of the fabric. The thing that keeps you warm is your clothes and your sleeping bag. As you see right now, down here under the cliff or on the foot of the hill, and you smell something. So there is something moving down here. You see? She's really curious and suddenly she just something. It could be a human out walking with a dog, it could be an elk, a ra reindeer, maybe not reindeer because she's so, not so interested in reindeer, but could be fox or a brown bear. So as you see now, I'm down here between the trees again and it's almost no wind here. It's really warm and nice. If I'd be camping here instead of up there, I didn't need to bring the water up there and I had had a nice morning outside the tent with the coffee instead of sitting up there. I probably been slept better here. So now but I wanted to test the tent and now I tried it in wind, I tried it in rain. I think that next time I will try to see how the tent works when it, everything is perfect. What do you think about that? Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for Patreon, thanks for buy me a coffee and all that things. See you next video. Ciao!